What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look here this morning at Aerodrome Finance slash the United States dollar. This will be a Coinbase chart and price data here on TradingView.com. So I wanted to pop on here this morning and talk about a scenario to the downside. So if for whatever reason, Aerodrome does not print a higher low here and continue its trend back to the upside, or I should say start start a new trend back to the upside. I want to talk about areas below the market for potential support. So similar to talking back to the area where we found support at 85, 20, 84, 494. If these markets do sell off, we take out the lows over here on the 14th. We take out the lows over here on the 30th of April. Well, I want to talk about areas of potential support where the market would potentially find support before moving back once again higher. So the reason why is because we continue to make new lows here. Now, I'm not saying that we're guaranteed to drop off, off a cliff here, but I just wanted to put it out there that if we do start taking important lows out where the market is most likely going to find a support area. So far, we're, you know, we're still in good condition here. We have, like I said, our major low over here on the 30th of April, we had a, you can call it a test of the lows. It's a higher low. The low came in at 87 above our 85.20. They tested your patience. Let me tell you that we had all of these down days here. We had one green day in there. And then obviously the bottom got very close to where the lows are. Then they sent the aerodrome finance market higher so from the bottom tick to the top tick 34 percent in two days roughly but they tested you people threw in the towel on this pullback for sure and they tested you <clears throat> getting a similar move right now guys although we're much earlier in this than you know we're we're right about here in this on this recent pullback so the key is we don't want to undercut the 87 low Okay, so we can pull back anywhere within here, and the and these are still in healthy condition, in my opinion. We can pull back all the way to you know 88, um, 87, high 87s. We can pull you know anywhere right in here, you know 93. <clears throat> the low could be in today. We just don't know where. We just don't want to see it take out the lows from the 14th, and those are at 87 even. So essentially, what we're looking for is we're looking for the pullback here to be somewhere within here in a higher low and then we're looking for a move to the upside taking out the highs making a higher high so far what we have is a major low a lower high a higher low a lower high question is will this be another higher low and then do we get the higher high that's the question. That's the waiting game. You know, taking out these highs over here would give us a higher high as well as taking out the highs at 128 would give us also another higher high. So it's one day at a time. Got to have some patience. Bitcoin looks good right now. Getting a little bit of a pullback this morning, this Sunday. Things are a little bit quiet, but overall Bitcoin is trending higher right now and it's breaking out. I just put a video out. Go check it out, guys. It's Bitcoin Cash. I think Bitcoin Cash is a sitting in an opportunity right now early and it's just beginning a breakout to the upside with some pretty high price targets so it yes it is an expensive product that's about it's almost 500 bucks but there's an opportunity there i think you know so go check out that video i just posted it this morning all right let's flip this here and if for whatever reason the aerodrome finance chart aerodrome does continue down okay we do take out the lows from the 14th of may those are 87 we drop below the 85 20 the 84 494 we take out the lows over here at 83 we have two areas of potential support below that market 79 340 84 0 excuse me, 79.340 and 79.630. That's right here. That's this pink line here and this purple line. 
that's stopping area, uh, you know, number one, once the 8520, the 14th of May, the 30th of April, once those are all taken out, it's right down to this red line right here, which is just about 79,340. That's an area to keep an eye on if the markets obviously sell off pretty hard. The real area I want to talk about, though, that could be in play here is the 72,326, 72,326. So by no means am I saying, we're, you know, we're going to drop off a cliff. That's where we're heading. Unless we start taking out those important lows that I had just pointed out here. If those come out and the market's finding itself below, there's a good chance we're going to be heading right to 72. 26. That is an area I wanted to mention here. We have also an area of 84,760. 84,760. That's up in here. It's an important area that could be in play as well. So key takeaways from today's video is so far this market's not in trouble. We have a long way to go before we would take out our most recent low. So this is very normal. And ultimately what we're looking for is a higher low to be printed Let's say it's today, for example, and then we continue higher, breaking out, putting in a higher high. But if that doesn't happen, we take out the lows, like I said. Um, you know, we have, we'll mention them one more time, the 14th of May, the 30th of April. And then we have our levels here, um, 84, we'll call it 85,200, 84,760, 84,494. That's all right here. And then it's 79,630, 79,340. But the real important level, if you're, if you're going to take one level away from here, 72,326 could be the real player, especially once the lows of the 14th and 30th are undercut. 72,326. What does that look like on a percentage to the downside? That is a about a 28 or so percent move lower. So 28 or so percent move lower. Is it guaranteed to happen? You know, I don't have that answer. Right now, the markets don't look sick. If the markets start to look sick, then yes, there's a really good chance of that taking place, guys. But so far, what I'm seeing in Bitcoin and what I'm seeing on this chart, I don't have too much of a concern, but I wanted to put it out there if it plays out. Guys, thanks for watching. If you were not yet a subscriber, go ahead and join us here on the channel. Let me know your thoughts on Aerodrome Finance. Keep your eyes on all of these levels I talked about today. Keep your eye on Bitcoin. It's looking good. Maybe a little pullback here for a day or two. But overall, it's breaking out to the upside. Go watch that Bitcoin Cash video. I think there's a big opportunity there. You guys have a great day. Not financial advice.